Phillies outfielder Shane Victorino is here in studio and um, he's back in town. He just won his third straight gold glove after his Phillies advanced to their third straight National League Championship Series. Victorino and his Phillies won it all, of course, back in 2008. And he is here for the third annual Shane Victorino Foundation Celebrity Dinner on Maui. They'll be playing some golf as well. It's this Saturday at the Wailea Golf Club and Four Seasons Resort. All right, Shane, good to have you with Thank us you. this morning. All right, so Shane, they call you the, the, the Flying Hawaiian, the Pineapple Express. <laughs> I know Joe Buck, always during the national television um, games, he always calls you that. Do you like that nickname, first of all? Um, I got to go with the Flying Hawaiian. I like that one the best. Uh, you know, it's just one of those nicknames that, that caught on. You know, one, being my roots, being from Hawaii, and, uh, you know, two, being you know, a guy who can run, and or being known as a guy who can run. So, you know, I like that nickname the best. And, and do, and do your teammates bit, call you that? Yeah, they do. I mean, you know, it's funny. Uh, you know, and, and when I walk around the city, sometimes I say to myself, and people just call me Shane. But, you know, it's just one of those things that people know me as. Yeah, and the town has definitely embraced you, uh, Philadelphia. What about what happened in the Giants series? You guys <laughs> won it all in 2008, and then this year, playing the Giants in the uh, NLCS, what happened there? You know what, they just play, they, they played right. They played good at the right time, and that's what it's about. It's about playing, you know, good baseball at the right time. You know what you've been, you know, you, we talked a little bit about you being in New York and watching what the Mets did, and, uh, you know, just one of those things that's, you know, when you play right baseball at the right time, that's what it's about. You go out there and get wins, so. Now, uh, one of the things that I think a lot of people here in Hawaii embrace about you is the fact that you always come back you're always trying to work with the community and trying to give back to community. Two, a couple of years ago, you were involved with um, some of the athletic programs that were um, in danger of being shut down. What else have you been doing with the, with some of these uh, high schools over well, here? Well, you know what, you just, uh, you know, being, being in the position that I am, um, you know, being able to go in the community and, and, and get people to understand, you know, how important it is to give back to the kids, to the youth of Hawaii. And, you know, again, I, I always tell myself, ever get in the position to understand what it's like to be a role model, to be idolized, to be looked up to. You know, I always wanted to be able to come back and give to the community, especially here in Hawaii. I think, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's something special about us here. You know, we're a very family. We're very, uh, you know, as they use the word, ohana. And I think that, you know, coming back and uh, not, forgetting, not forgetting where I come from, you know, is what it's all about. I love coming home to Hawaii. I love being involved in the community, uh, you know, giving back to that high school program. You know, when I heard that sports was, you know, on its way out, I said there's no way people should be paying for sports. Um, you know, growing up here, I didn't have that. You know, I had the luxury of going out there and playing in state tournaments and mm -hmm. playing in these events without having to pay money out of my pocket for sports. So, you know, it's one of the involvements of what I wanted to get, you know, get kickstarted and keep going. And one of the reasons why you are here is because of your foundation. You're going to be having a golf uh, tournament out there on Saturday. Uh, tell us about your handicap and also <laughs> uh, about this event. Well, I don't know if too much of a handicap. I'm not <laughs> much of a golfer. But, you know, again, the events, uh, you know, over there in Maui. Um, you know, eventually, you know, knock on wood, uh, you know, in the near future, hopefully we'll have something here in Honolulu. Um, so people don't really, not like it's too far away, but have to jump over to Maui, but we'll have something here. And, uh, you know, it's my third annual, so everything's going great. It's sold out. You know, I got sponsorships from, you know, Emergency App was my title sponsor. Mm -hmm. Four Seasons Maui, Tommy Bahama, you know, so I got myself aligned with some good companies that, you know, are excited for opportunity to give back to the community and, uh, you know, get people out there to have some fun. I'm not going to let you go without <laughs> telling us what your handicap is because you're having a golf tournament, so you got to tell people what your golf game is like these days. It's, uh, it's getting better, I'll put it that way. It ain't great. Come on, you got to uh, give us a number. Is it, um, you're, are you plus 20? I'm about a 14 handicap. So. I would say, yeah. Uh, I'll, you're say, athletic, I'll you're give you're myself 15 then. It doesn't matter. I mean, how I'd let it go on the golf course, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shane, well, it's good to have you with thank us you. Uh, here this morning. And uh, also, yes, congratulations uh, to your uh, newborn son. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's got, they're actually getting here today, so I'm excited. Um, you know, I came in a little early, but they're flying in today with mom and, uh, you know, uh, everybody else, so I'm excited to see them tonight. Seven pounds, eight ounces, Kingston Shane Victorino. <laughs> Is he going to be a surfer or baseball player really quick? Whatever he wants to be. I'm not going to force anything on him. Shane, good to have you with thank us, you. and uh, good luck with your event this weekend. If you'd like to see this interview again, you can always check out our uh, morning segment on our website at KITV.com.